Hello everyone and welcome to Dice Commando for our Phase 2 Clone Troopers unboxing. So I'm very excited about this one. As you guys know I play the clones. I've been waiting to uh, put these guys together so I can actually get them on the table. So uh, let's flip it over. This is what we're looking at getting. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. Um, there's also an alternate. There, well, obviously you have the heads and stuff, and of course these guys are going to be on the sprue, so we have multiple options. But the one I actually haven't decided yet is the mortar trooper. I haven't decided whether I'm going to build him like this, which is pretty cool, or do him with his gun with it on his back. Um, so that will be a game time decision once I get everything cut off the sprues. Also, the way we're going to do things today is because there are so many, I'm not just going to build them all here. I'm just going to build one here and then take the rest off, build them, and then I'll show them once they're completed. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack this guy open once the shrink wraps off. Hopefully we can get a little less shiny on the package. Safety first. All right. So we are a top box here. All right, so you can see in there that Pretty standard, the box is a little bigger than it needs to be, but marketing, marketing is definitely a thing from a shelf perspective. All right, let's get that guy over there. All right, we also gotta do our check with the new FFG return policy rules. All right, bases, cards, and tokens, our instructions, and then let's inspect our sprues here. Does look like everything is there, I think. And we see, you can see here that with the bodies, obviously it's not completely all in part. So it's, it's not as uh, easy to put together as the original versions when they were all just body and you kind of had to slip things in. But uh, with these new bodies, there's not that many different ways to do it. So this hard plastic shouldn't be um, too bad. So let's take a look. So it does look like everything's there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our instructions. So this is what we have to put together here. Um, let's see, which one do we want to put together? The leader has multiple options there, so let's not do him. Let's, let's do that guy right in the top middle there. Let's do phase two clone trooper. So he is dash B. So that's what we need to go find and cut out is all the dash B parts. All right, so just real quick, one problem I'm running into is that not all of the numbers line up to exactly where the sprues are. For example, um, this is C01. This is his body, but it's actually close to the sprues here, right? The number for B01, the body of the guy we're cutting, is actually down here, but his sprues are in there. It would have been a lot nicer had they put the sprues here. I'm sure from an injection molding standpoint, they wanted them there. I get it. Uh, but it is a little not intuitive to have the numbers so far away from some of this stuff, right? Like his head, for example, is there. You can get it, you can figure it out once you, you do, but for example, this one right here, come on, focus. CO5 right here actually corresponds to this one, yet it's right next to the actual sprue for this foot. So, or for this arm, I mean. So again, that's a little non-intuitive. So kind of struggling with this, at least, at least to begin with.
All right, so here's our guy. This is just the standard rifleman pose. So he's got his rifle in, arms go in pretty much. There's only really one way for the arms to go in. They're not slotted or anything, but there's really only one way to make them fit. You can see there he's got his head tilted a little bit looking down the rifle. So this is this guy here. Okay, so we can see we, maybe I tilted his head a little too bit, but I think, I think he looks pretty good looking down that rifle there. All right, so what we'll do is we'll get his base on and then I'll go throw the others together and uh, we will come back and uh, look at the guys. All right guys, so I have the first four put together from the first sprue. Um, this is the guy obviously we put together on screen. And then here's the other guys. So I do have to say this guy, I actually had a hard time putting together. Uh, his leg kind of goes in funny. Let's see if we can, now uh, you can't really see it, but his, his leg is a separate piece and it kind of goes in funny. And then of course getting a guy like that to try and balance on his, on his base is not the, not the easiest. I also, this guy, his arm here, I had some issues getting it to, Oh no, wait, sorry, not that guy, it was this guy. Yeah, this guy. I had some issues getting his arm to go in because it goes up under, and then you have to get it up under in the correct angle to actually attach to this as well. So, um, But all in all, they actually went together. It wasn't too bad all in all. So um, I'm kind of wondering why they're not just doing the one piece because there's, there's no alternatives on how to put these guys together, really, unless you want to go completely like off script. So anyway, but those are the first four and we'll uh, hit sprue two here in a second. All right, so before we do sprue two down here, which is the commander and the, well, basically the guys with more options, I wanted to open up the inside of the insert and just kind of look at all the various options here. So here's the, the Z6 guy. So you can, obviously you can do him with his helmet or without, I'm definitely gonna do him with his helmet. I just like my guys to be helmeted, but you do have the two options there with him. And then the mortar guy, there are all sorts of options. So we had already talked about the two ways of putting him together, either standing with his gun with it on his back or him deployed. Uh, but he also has different visor options. You can either have the visor up or the visor down. I think I'm going to use this head for sure. Um, I'm still, I still haven't decided we're going to probably try and dry fit most of the stuff and put it together, but I'm leaning towards going with the deployed mortar versus it on his back. And then the, just to go back to the front, the commander here, we do have the option whether to go head or helmeted, but again, I'm, I'm going to have all my guys helmeted. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at their tokens and the cards. The tokens are really pretty standard, right? Just unit tokens, once we can actually get them out of the package. There we go. Just standard unit tokens, nothing super amazing or super, super sexy there. But let's go ahead and look at the unit card. All right, so what's cool about these guys, right, is this, you know, that's not huge, but what I like here is, I mean, it's it's not bad either, right? It's not a one, but what I like here is they're valuable, right? So these guys start with a surge token, which is pretty awesome. Now they don't have any natural surges, but that surge token certainly does help. They have fire support, of course, with all the clones. They are 60, which is a little on the pricey side, uh, but I like what you get here versus versus the phase ones. All right, so let's look at the mini cards that come with them. So we have, well, of course we have our phase two trooper, just our additional man, right? Because remember we can take a normal and a heavy. So trooper there. And then from a heavy standpoint, we can go with the Z6 trooper, which is a fun little gun. 27 points is not too out of range. But then here is what I think is the sexy card, which is the Mortar Trooper. Now he does have Cumbersome, but he has Suppressive, of course, 25 points there, 
two to four. I like this guy. And remember, of course, if he has to, he can use his normal gun. Then as far as equipment goes, we have our other upgrades go. We have grappling hooks. We have the impact grenades, impact one. When attacking unit that has armor, change up to one to a crit. And then overwatch, right? Gives them sentinel for standby one to three. Okay, so that's pretty much it as the cards go. Again, I'm really excited to get these guys on the table. Uh, so I'll have my two phase one squads and my one phase two squad and uh, we will we will see how it goes so um, let's come back here in just a second we'll look at the fully put together squad and uh, we'll go from there all right guys so here's the final squad all put together um, i went ahead and i did the leader with his helmet in the position that they have on the box just kind of looking back at his troops like come on guys let's go um, he went together really, really, really easy. The Z6 trooper, so I do want to say, as, as I was putting all these guys together, um, the detail on the, I was really impressed. The detail on some of these guys is just really great. Like, look at the, the Z6. Look at the detail. Come on, focus. Look at the detail on the gun itself. It's just really good. So I did have some problems with him. You see where his arm connects, his arm connects to the hand. Uh, those kept right here. That kept popping apart just with tension. So I had to basically stand there for 10 minutes and keep it glued together. So I have a, some glue lines you can see that resulted from that debacle, but all in all, I do want to say it, it just bothers my OCD a little bit that he, he doesn't fit all the way on his base. You can see his back foot's hanging over. Um, not a big deal. It doesn't affect the model. But And then here's here's the main guy. They're not the main guy, but the mortar guy is the one I think is the coolest. Look at the detail on him. Looks really good. Um, one thing that did bug me about him, and I ran into this problem when I put together the b1 battle droids as well as there's really no they don't actually show you in the instructions anywhere where to put the gun on the back so you just kind of have to figure it out on your own and there's not really any lines or anything to show you where but so this is the guy what i ended up putting the mortar trooper together again i i think he looks really good so there we have there we have the squad so phase two clone troopers all put together and we'll be getting them on the table shortly so let me know what you guys think if you guys are excited about these as well and if nothing else go commando